Well hello there, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. I haven't done one in quite a while, so I thought, I, well, I did Super Metroid, which is the third one in the installment, so I thought, let's go back to the first ever game, but remastered, more or less, as it was in 2004 that this game, the original Metroid, was recreated and took called Zero Mission. So, without further ado, let's uh, get started with the new Let's Play that we should be doing for the next couple weeks, maybe. Probably going to try and upload about two videos of this every day that it's on. I don't know when I'll actually, you know, get around to doing that, but yeah, fair enough, we'll find out. So, without further ado, it's good to be back, so let's carry on in a good way. By playing a game that I know very well, and uh, trying a bit differently. Normally I play on a keyboard, but this time I will be playing on a uh, controller. Uh, it's an Xbox One controller, so obviously it's an Xbox One controller. Um, so it's not like the normal stuff. <laughs> it's not like a, uh, a SNES one or a Game Game Boy or anything. In fact, I don't even think I would be able to uh, put my uh, Game Boy up to this. But I have to forgive the newish commentary again. I haven't done commentary in quite a while. <laughs> but I shall do my best. Obviously, this is, I wouldn't say it's a speedrun, it's more or less a walkthrough, but look, I, like I said earlier, I am pretty fast at this game. Uh, I'll be doing some things a bit differently here and then, but this is how I would normally play through Super Metro, uh, said Super Metro then. Uh, Zero Mission, this is how I would normally play through this game, because I speedrun this game, and I think my fastest time, like any percent, was 45 minutes, which isn't too bad, uh, considering I'm not a, you know, an avid speedrunner, I don't try and do all the tech and stuff like that. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm going down there. Obviously, there's a little secret for you right there. You can get missiles before you can actually get the long beam, and there's a reason why I need to get missiles first for a quick uh, speedrun strat. Um, I've watched the people play this game quite a lot, so I know a lot of the speedrun strats as well. I also know how to get 100%. Um, so, like, at the best part, this won't be as much of a collective one as, say, Super Metroid was. I remember, like, the first few episodes of Super Metroid that I did on my channel. Uh, the first episodes were quite fast paced, but then it slowed down quite a lot because I was going on item collecting. Um, I try and cut that down as much as I possibly can. <laughs> I try and cut that down as much as I possibly can. But in uh, uh, any case, I would probably skip cut out most of it and just cut to me like actually getting the item itself. I'm worried now because I'm on it. Yeah, the uh, Xbox One controller, uh, like I said, normally I play it on a keyboard, keyboard and mouse, because this is on an emulator, I don't actually have it on GameCube. <laughs> um, I know it's kind of bad, but I apologise for that. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I actually wall kicked down those points. But the Xbox One controller, uh, especially if like, I want to like morph ball or you know, uh, look up, it's a bit slow, because like, the entire stick actually has to be like down or below it in order to work, which is why if I try and like aim, shoot down, whilst also angling my gun, it'll just like come to a stop, like that. So I've got to try my best not to do that. So we have the long beam. Like, you're normally you're supposed to get this first and then go up and around and then fight, uh, get your missiles. But I don't need to do that, because, like I said, there is a strategy. And I've got to like commend uh, developers, because I generally believe they actually do this like intentionally, they leave these stuff in for like players at the game to, there you go, did it perfect, or well, players that know the game well to, you know, experiment and try new things and then you find like that, it's like, oh right, look at this, I can do this instead of doing this long winded work. So it's great, I generally believe that they put it in there deliberately. <laughs> so right now we're going to get bombs and then we're going to go on a bit of a different path when we get bombs. Like I said, this is how I would normally do the game anyway. <laughs> this will also be a... I would say it's going to be a various suit, a various suit this run, because uh, I can do without various suit. Because no matter what, you don't actually need the various suit to complete the game 100. Like it still counts, but when we get to a certain part of the uh, game, it won't matter <laughs> because you always get the suit regardless of what you do here. So various suit is a questionable asset. If you want to have it, then by all means you can have it. Um, but if not, then fair enough, you don't want it. <laughs> so 
obviously if we're going to be going through heated places which we will I want to try and grab as much energy tanks as I possibly can I mean it's not the heat, you don't lose yeah energy that fast in heated areas it's more or less if you fall in lava whilst in heated areas that's when you need to start you know being a bit wary of the uh, situation Oh, actually, that was boring. Was that the Warbler jump then? Warbler jump? But. <laughs> so now we have the bombs. Now, this is going to be. I wouldn't say a long winded episode, but there is going to be a lot of bomb jumping. Uh, I practiced bomb jumping on this game. I practiced it in Super Metroid as well. That was weird. Really um, practice it a lot in Super Metroid and in this game as well because there is a lot of parts that I do that requires bomb jumping. Uh, certain jumps I could do diagonal, I could do not horizontal because I don't think there's actually ever a point where you need to do horizontal but <coughs> you never know. <laughs> it might be useful to you one day. So I want to grab all these on me. Yes I'm buying. Ah oh, there was always one. I don't know. There we go. I practiced this a bit as well, uh, off screen, <laughs> with the controller. A few cells are in a good position. I will go quiet when I uh, bomb jump because it's all about timing. Uh, it's actually really hard to talk and uh, bomb jump at the same time. <laughs> and we have to hit this Terzo statue uh, to actually get behind it in order to get to the part that we want to get to. I have seen speedrunners of this game. Um, I watched uh, this done at AG, uh, like a live stream called AG, AGDQ. <laughs> if you don't know what that uh, is, it's fantastic. I don't I support it entirely. Uh, it's a great event. Jackass, yes. I will skip this part for you guys. <laughs> now, I could very well get the very soon. It's just a bit of bomb, bomb to platforming, uh, which I can easily do. But like I said, don't really need very soon. It's not part of 100% completion. And actually, uh, if you grab the very suit, no matter how early you get it, as soon as you get the very suit, the game actually becomes harder. Like the game will spawn in uh, more enemies. Uh, like these little things with here won't hurt you uh, if you've got the berry suit, but I don't really need the berry suit, um, so that's fine. There would like be there'd be a bunch of stuff in that room if I had to actually grab the berry suit. <coughs> so. so the berry suit does actually add a bit of difficulty. Uh, I don't think it makes like bosses any different. It makes them a lot harder because you know you <coughs> you don't have the 50% uh, reduced damage, uh, which is all the berry suit really does, uh, as well as like stops you from getting affected by heated rooms and light lava which is actually I think that's what it's called uh, in the game <laughs> right so normally we go down to north air grab the power of grip actually just realized there's missiles back here <laughs> so right now we normally head down to Norway uh, north air not Norway <laughs> as a country uh, and grab the power grip as well as the ice beam and stuff like that and go to Crate. We're going to go to Crate first because you don't need the Power Grip, it's not a necessity to have the Power Grip. It makes it easier, but if you're good at bomb jumping then go Crate first because having the speed boost in North Air or in Ridley's Hideout is more beneficial than not have it, than going down to Ridley and fight it. It might be a bit faster killing Ridley first because he's the harder boss and then you've got super missiles to defeat Craig with really easily. Um, but I personally prefer to get the speed boost first because then you grab more items on the way <coughs> and for 100% you kind of actually want to do that. I'll be coming back to this place uh, later in the game, like much later. Uh, this That's more or less end game stuff that I'll be doing that because obviously this is 100% run. I would never not do 100% run because, well, wouldn't I? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know how long these uh, parts are going to be. Probably maybe 15 minutes. Possibly. But for the most part, there's going to be a lot of cutting out half the time, so I'm not really too fussed about it. If I can make it 15 minutes, then great, but if not, then so be it. I always get hit down here. <laughs> so we're gone on our way down to Crate. So realistically, we only have to come back here twice. <laughs> uh, once through now, uh, actually defeating Crate and getting speed boost. And then once end game, grabbing the rest of the items, which I think after I've grabbed everything here, I think there's like maybe two missile packs and a power bomb, and that's about it. Although the power bomb is more or less leading towards um, warfare anyway. Now I made a mistake here. I thought the blue door that I went was that was underneath me. That was the door you had to go through to um, turn on the power. Because I do need to turn on the power. I can't bomb jump that effectively. <laughs> I can bomb jump, but I can't bomb jump effectively. Because I can't kill these guys very fast effectively. Apparently. Uh, the acid worm, which I think is what it's called, uh, only takes 30 missiles. I know that from experience. <laughs> this is quite a hard jump to make. You have to, you have to get like a. That's not gonna work. Done it. <laughs> and it took me five attempts, uh, which is a lot better than what I did when I first practiced it. Uh, it took me quite a while to actually nail that down. Can I get this trick? Nope. You can actually fall down there, plant the bomb, and then uh, if you're fast enough, you can actually wall jump off so you don't have to hit the speed boost. That'll save you a couple seconds if you're trying to speed run the game. Um, I've tried that many times. I think I've pulled off like once or twice, but that's just like in my own time. Things to practice, but... This is a casual walkthrough, I don't really particularly mind. Um, there is actually... Uh, I, I tried doing this like a couple of years ago, that's three. Uh, a couple of years ago, uh, it was actually called a casual walk walkthrough, which is where I um, went through the actual game as intended, because a lot because there's like load of speed runs of this game. And I thought, you know what, maybe we should... Uh, do a casual walkthrough so people that actually want to play the game that have never played it can, you know, know where to go and crap like that. Come out, bro. Okay, last time I did on training run, I... That was okay. <laughs> last time I did on the practice run, I've gone <laughs> dead before the uh, Razor Lava once. Uh, twice even. Down here. There we go. Where are we going? That's actually a good <coughs> positioning for this guy. Yeah, much to talk about. I basically explain like the gist of how this let's play is actually gonna run through. I'm hoping I can defeat Craig before it. Like I haven't been playing it for that long, to be honest. <laughs> um, I think it's been like ten, ten minutes, I'd say. And I'm already like actually going towards Craig now. <laughs> going pretty fast. I'm pretty proud of it. Okay, so now this is the door we need to go through to actually get to Craig. Now this is once again a perfect jump. So. Okay, failed it already. Failed it again. There we go. <laughs> Normally you could try and like get it perfectly, like straight in there, but getting a bit higher is just as fine. The the way Morphle works in this game is actually really nice. 
Like, I know in Metroid Fusion, like, sometimes you can't actually get into those places unless you jump way higher than him. Whereas in this game, it's a lot less, like, lenient. It's a lot lenient, more lenient, sorry. Um, with how you can actually get into the holes. If anything like the first game, you'd never actually get into it regardless, so... There's also a, the reason why I'm also doing it on controller is because um, sometimes when you put too many keyboard inputs into a game, into a game, uh, especially in an emulated version of a game, uh, it can't actually register what or what you're doing, but apparently it does it fine with controllers. I don't actually know why it does that, but it just does. <laughs> so you can't put, so I can't like look diagonally, shoot more missiles, uh, shoot missiles up and stuff like that. Like I can't just do that and keep shooting. I can't just run and shoot. <laughs> What's he doing up there? You can do two bombs here because if you're fast enough getting in there. There you go. Because <laughs> you break the bomb with the speed boost anyway. Try this again. And we pop out, hit that, charge it up. Oh, I didn't grab me in time. I just timed that. <laughs> How do I keep like spam shooting? No need for it. So cool feature added in this game. Obviously, because this is a more or less kind of a remake of the old, of the first game, they have like changed obviously some of the I, 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 yeah. locations. <laughs> but it's more or less the first game um, and whatnot. <laughs> and the second part of this game, you have these hidden items that you will collect throughout the game. There's three in total. Uh, they're hidden armor abilities, uh, power abilities. Sorry. And this one is Space Jump, I'm just going to spoil it now because this game's been out for a while. <laughs> oh my god, why am I- I've, I've been able to bomb jump around this place loads and now I'm struggling this. Oh my goodness. There we go. <laughs> Was it that hard? Apparently so. <laughs> Going with the spam shoot. Now let's see if I can do this. Nope. I think we did that one fine. Alright, one out of four. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was really bad. No need to go through that door. Just hit, simply hit this. Nice, I actually got that there. Sometimes you don't actually get that. Open your big app. It will always give you six missiles there. Crade is relatively easy. Ah, oh, normally I can do it in my... <coughs> about that block actually blowing up. Alright, that's not too bad. <laughs> now we can claim our reward. Speed boost, and this will help us, like I said, greatly in North there because there's more items to collect with a speed booster uh, than there is uh, getting, say, like screw attack from Ridley. <laughs> Stop, shoot up. Now, let's see if I can do this trick. Well, I don't know if it's a trick or not, but it's a bit of tech, man. I think I've already messed it up. Nope. Might have it still. Might have it. Oh, just got it then. I was about to run out. Now, whether or not I can actually do this, don't know. Oh, we're looking good. Oh, almost. Basically, you can speed boost across this entire thing. You don't have to go on this. It's slightly faster. It's slightly faster than uh, uh, being on the grapple. I don't think that's actually grapple, but you know, more or less. A bit more bomb jumping.
There we go. Almost forgot then. <laughs> you have to press jump in order to exit out of it faster, even in more hope mode. Don't know, actually know why, because I don't have jump ball yet, but we will get that soon. <laughs> and one last thing to grab from crates is this energy tank. Nailed it. Nailed it! Okay, and that is crate done. Okay, um, we defeated Craig, got five energy tanks, a lot of the missiles, quickly grab this real quick, alright, get to a save room and I'll save it like legitly, make sure you hold right here because you won't automatically go in this little hole there unless you do that, I wouldn't mind them actually remaking this game because this game, if this was like edited in the styles of say like what Metroid Return of Samus was on the 3DS, this will look fantastic. Okay then, right? Well, I want to thank you guys for watching this part. If you enjoyed it, be sure to let me know. If there's anything I can change about it, then feel free just to let me know and I'll do my best to change it. Alright, take care guys. Bye-bye.